Right? Uh, dog days? Yes. What is it? Dog days? Yeah. Dog days. Any cap? Uh, the D's. Do the D's. No space. The dog days of summer. All right, just before we call it to order, if people want to come and move their chairs up, take their backs to the sun up here. So feel free to move your chair to a place where it might be a little better. You're going to almost to you. Yeah. Yeah. You can do back. Yeah. I'll find this. Hide behind the bridge. There we go. You could hover behind them. You don't have to wear my camera's up high enough, even if you're set. Mm -hmm. All right, we're gonna well, we'll, we'll call the meeting to order, and if you want to switch around over into that corner there, where the, where the sun is not shining, you can feel free. I'm done. Oh, okay. this is good. Apparently, the only one. I'm right at the. All right, all right. Calling the uh, meeting to order. We'll roll call, please. Judy Nelson here. Tom Coon. Emily Leach. Here. Andrea Anderson. Here. Aaron Cavanaugh. Here. We we'll stand for the pledge. The pledge is at first. Pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America, to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right. Uh, comments by visitors before we get started on the business portion here. Comments by visitors? I see no comments by visitors at this point, so we will move on. Uh, the consent calendar is um, right now uh, has on it um, our 2019 2020 uh, school board goals. They were in the packet to review. So um, we can either remove them and have discussion about them or just leave them in and then go forward with it. Uh, then the uh, withdrawal committee minutes, which they're here. Um, this was the joint committee. Um, this was the joint meeting. No, it was no, 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 the last one. They have been approved by the withdrawal committee. And then our, uh, our last school board meeting on June 13th. So what's the pleasure to just uh, to accept the whole uh, second? All right. Motion and second to accept the consent calendar uh, and further discussion. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 All right. Announcements and communication. Uh, we'll start with the superintendent updates. All right, I'm going to start just by mentioning briefly the summer projects. I know it's under the principal's report for an update. Um, a lot of wonderful projects this year. If, if you haven't had an opportunity to, to see all of them, uh, certainly make, a, make an appointment with Rich just to make sure that you can get around all areas of the building on the inside. Um, but the tile and the cupola, the front steps, the gym, just, just awesome. Really uh, jobs that, that needed to be done for quite a while. And, Rich is going to talk a little bit more about them, but they look good. Um, an update on the withdrawal committee. Um, we met earlier this week. Uh, I have sent out an, an RFI request for information for, to about 10 to 12 school districts or other SAUs to provide feedback to see if there's any interest in, if, in uh, um, having them contract services for the SAU if that's the way the withdrawal committee decides to go. So that's in process. Uh, it was also posted by the New Hampshire School Board Association. So we're reaching out to gather that information and the withdrawal committee is going to be taking that into consideration in the future meeting. The next meeting for the withdrawal committee is August 28th. That's going to be in the town library at 6 p.m. And then there's an informational forum set for September 18th at 6.30 p.m. And that's here at uh, Rollinsford Grade School in the gym. And at the informational forum, it will be an update as to what the withdrawal committee has talked about so far, some of the data that has, has uh, been received, and some of the possibilities of uh, uh, outcomes, whether it's to create your own SAU contract to service with another SAU, along with tentative figures for, for what that might cost. So 
That's all for informational forum on September 18th. All are welcome. And that is for uh, question and answer. That's for receiving feedback back from the public to help the withdrawal committee make an informed decision. Um, can you say the next meeting is August 28th at the library? Yes. The library is planning to be closed for repainting and but it may be elsewhere on um, uh, uh, Jen Lynn's okay. is, is contacting the library and checking that out. She, she was going to contact the library. Thank you. I, I, you're right. It didn't I, occur to me when I saw that. Yeah, I'll sorry. Only know because my yeah. meeting. I will go to check that out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it won't, won't be at the library when it's somewhere else. Um, we had a meeting with uh, Marshwood School Board and talked about many items on the tuition agreement some language, uh, some things about homeschooling, billing procedures. Uh, we talked about career tech education services, late bus services, immunization, all kinds of different things, as well as SAU services to see tentatively if they were interested in, in, in possibly responding to that RFI as well. Uh, at this point, I've got a meeting with Superintendent John Carberry next Tuesday, August 13th, and we're going to be talking about the tuition agreement just to see if we can tidy up some of the language in there and, and some of the things that the school board has brought up and their board has brought up as well. So our tentative plan is to meet, uh, try to agree on some language, and then we will bring back any suggested changes to you as well as the Marshall board, and then if it's agreeable after feedback from both boards, we can tidy that up. So that, that meeting, my meeting with him is, is uh, next Tuesday. Can you think about that? Sure. Um, so uh, the meeting, I think Aaron was the only one who couldn't make that meeting, and I, I, I know I felt it was one of the best meetings we really had uh, with Marshall, and it was a real discussion, um, board, board members to board members, uh, the two superintendents, uh, John and Carol was new, Bob's only been in years, so that was the first time we went together to join a board meeting. Everybody worked really as a team and uh, worked through a, a lot of things very, very quickly. Right? And, um, and it was agreed, all of us at, at that meeting, that the superintendents can really do a lot, clean up the language, um, know, where we, know what we want to do um, for, for the next possible extension. They're going to work on it. So, and anyone else who was there, you want to chime in? No, I thought it went very well. And I think for all members, I felt it was very straight. Oh, yeah, they repeatedly expressed their pleasure of, of Rollinsford students um, and, and their receptiveness on, on continuing this relationship. So they were very positive. Yeah. So positive. Yeah. That's right, you were at another meeting. Which we'll ask you, 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 we'll 
And uh, I, I, I asked a question early on, but I, then I went up to the DES specialist, both of them, and I said, I just want a very clear answer. I just want to have you, yes or no, the water is safe to drink. And absolutely 100% the water is safe to drink. And they do, they do a full panoply of testing here um, to make sure that the water is indeed safe. Here at the school. Yeah. And, and they, they, they also talk that they work very, very closely with the Fortier. I mean, they knew the names of the school, they know who they're working closely with here, and they work closely with them. So, yeah, I can add a little more information as well. Okay. Um, they, Dick Fortier and Rich have been um, sending water samples out to be tested. Uh, one of the, the requirements is to specifically test for lead in any of the water on all of the faucets. Uh, there were four, I believe four or five faucets that came back uh, borderline as far as the lead testing goes. None of them were from drinking faucets. They were from hand washing stations and things like that. So there, was, there were no drinking faucets at all that were affected by that. Um, since that happened, there have been faucets that have been changed out. There have been filters that have been put on. Uh, and we've gathered some additional, I should say, they have gathered some additional water samples and sent them out and we're awaiting uh, feedback from them as well on that testing. We should receive that back in about a week, is that right, Rich? Dick is going to call tomorrow to get an update. It's been out for about a week and a half now. So I, I would anticipate within a week. So the feedback that they got was that they were hopeful that if, if we made these changes of faucets and filtration that it, it wouldn't be borderline anymore, it would be fine. But either way, there are hand washing stations and they're not drinking stations. Uh, and the other requirement is to uh, post a letter on that information as well as to send it to parents and guardians. And as soon as we get the additional testing back and find the final results, then they'll be sending it out uh, by email as well as posting it on the website so that information will be out there. But to reinforce what Judy said, it, it, it's safe to drink uh, and none of the none of the affected faucets were drinking. And, and let me clarify, one of the things I learned, because they said they wanted to share information whether you had whether you were in the water district or not, it was the lead that is found is not in the water. It can be in your fixture, especially if you have um, some from, uh, from from China or, or the Far East or other or other places. And they, they urged everyone at that meeting to go home and test their own water at the source because it could, it could be your fixture that it's coming from, that the lead is leaching from. So, and that was that is likely the case here. Obviously, it wasn't the water. It's not the water. So, um, it's it's well, we're mandated to test each faucet anyway. No, but how do you know it's not water? Well, here they knew the drinking water is not. The drinking water has from parents. does not have lead in it. It's just coming from specific faucets. So. They, they test, so the water district tests at the source and at, and at the very end of their system, so at the fire station and some other places. They don't test anywhere in between because they just have to make sure that it's safe in the beginning and at the very end. And so I, I did, when I spoke with them alone afterwards, I, I, I said, you know, why, why isn't there more testing at this school? And they said, well, we're working closely with people who work there, and it does get tested. Um, and so I, I felt uh, quite confident after speaking with them. Okay, I think I've interrupted you. I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so the um, principal, principal's update. Um, so I, I don't have a whole lot more than what's in your packet, but I just wanted to highlight a couple of things. Um, we do have one opening for certain that is um, out there that I've begun interviewing for mm -hmm. um, with a possibility of a second one mm -hmm. coming. Um, my hope is that we'll be fully staffed by the first day. Um, if not, then we'll do what we did last year. We have some very capable subs to start the year. Um, we had to do that for weeks last year before finding um, candidates, but 
I'm, I'm hopeful that it won't be like that this year. And you're talking about me, I'm at least in coaches, not, not um, teachers at this point. Teaching staff is fully staffed. Um, we've been that way <coughs> since middle of May um, when we filled those positions and nobody has left over the summer from the teaching staff. Uh, extended school year ended today. They had been relocated to the library because of the tiling of the main building. Um, but um, the SY is for our students, special education students who need um, to continue their learning throughout the summer so that they don't um, make drastic drops in what they learned. Um, so we had a good little group this year working hard and um, it's not typical paper pencil, sit down and skill and drill, they apply what they learn and um, do it through speaking and through games. Um, watched a couple of kids, a fifth grader and a future seventh grader playing a math game yesterday and multiplying numbers from a board with numbers on the dice and being able to just whip off their answers. So, uh, good little group that they have. Uh, a little bit off of the transition, I like to throw in our transition with Marshwood once in a while. Uh, we talked about having a meeting with um, the SAU's new special ed director, Marshwood's new special ed director, our new special ed liaison, um, just so that we're all on the same page to start the school year. Uh, we didn't have this type of transition last year. I was new. Our liaison last year was new. Um, and I think we didn't do a good enough job of all meeting together, talking about the procedures and what was expected on their end, what the limitations are on our end, because they work here as well. Um, so we do have a meeting on the books for Monday, August 19th. Um, all six people involved are going to meet. We all found the time. Um, and it should be able to start the year better for our new liaison. And then just to piggyback off of Bob about buildings and grounds, um, a lot of things are being are close to done. Uh, the front steps are installed. There's um, the railings that need to get put on, and a little bit of landscaping on the sides that need to be filled in. Um, the gym is over half done. Um, for those of you that get a chance to peek at it before the meeting, um, they need to come back and sand out a couple of places. Um, and then uh, finish it uh, to make it shine, but it's looking great. Um, all of the classrooms are clean, uh, people are moving in, teachers are here at all hours every day. There were a couple here as you were walking in. Um, we've replaced all of the internal door locks. We had um, door locks that began breaking down and keys not being able to work on them. Um, and to us, that was a safety feature that we asked for your support on last spring. Um, in case of a lockdown, we need to make sure that we can you know, quickly lock them. Um, so all of those are installed. Um, we do have a new intercom system that's been installed. Um, one of the things that I found last year coming in, we had the new phone system, which was great. Um, and there was intercom capability, but if there's any noise in a room, you can't even hear um, the signal that there's going to be an announcement unless you're very close to it. Um, so we got an intercom system set up. We've got intercoms in our hallways now. So if you're out in the hallway um, and you hear echoing from a classroom, you don't have to run to a classroom to hear the announcement. You can hear it in the hallway. Nice. Um, so we'll get some training on that at the beginning of the year so that another safety features in place for our building. Other than that, the tiles in the main hallways are done completely. Uh, baseboards are done to make it look really nice. Um, and I, I don't know how they've done it in seven and a half weeks. <laughs> and they still have a couple of weeks to go to finish up some little projects here and there. One of the things I was going to ask you folks is um, Bob offered, you know, contact me if you want to come in on your own um, before school or even right after school starts, feel free to contact me. But if you want as a group to do it, we could do that at the September meeting as well. I know that's leaving the meeting to do a tour, but 
um, if you're interested in doing that together, um, that's up to you folks. I, I would. I love giving tours of buildings and showing it off. So if you'd like to do that, I'm more than willing to do that for you. If the board would like, we could, we could actually start meeting at six or six fifteen um, to do a brief tour. Of the okay. But that's that's a good. Yeah. Good. Saved you a trip, and I can get you all done at once instead of five times. <laughs> Not that I wouldn't mind, but yeah. <laughs> um, the only other thing is an announcement on a date. Our open house is scheduled for September 10th, mm -hmm. and we'll try again this year for nice weather so that we can do a picnic the first hour outdoors, and then the classrooms the second hour. Um, we'll meet in the gym like we did last year. Just a quick announcement for me before I send folks off to the gym. And whether you have kids here or not, you're more than welcome to attend. That's before our next school board meeting. That's all I have. Thank you. Any update on the kindergarten number? Yeah, I was going to do. Um, the number in there is still what it is. And actually, I have an update on total numbers, but it'll change. We've got a couple weeks left. Um, as of today, taking out the kids that we know that are leaving, um, we're at 148. If I add in the six that we've been told are coming, we're at 154. So definitely 148, but most likely we'll grow back up over 150 again. Thank you. Any other questions for Rich? Right, we're right along. Um, we're, we're going down to the financial update in our packet. We receive the oil bid, which is something we receive every year. Same, right? Yeah, the price is consistent with what you've done in the past. It's 18 cents above whatever that daily, their daily cost is. Um, so it's, it's consistent with what you've done. And it is, it is the same amount uh, that the, ta the town received exactly the same uh, price. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We need to vote. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's, it's under action items, so we can either do it now or under action items. Second. Motion and second. Any further discussion? All in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. The order group is accepted. Who to see you? Um, I think we'll be able to and then also I'm going to go and do so. Okay. Right. <clears throat> a, budget, a budget update. Also in our packet, there was the, um, the note from uh, Katie that we are not receiving $35,000 that we were anticipating receiving um, from special um, education aid. And the reason is that we have no students that are three and a half times, we have no students receiving special education that are, are getting three and a half times the state average, and that's how we qualify for that aid. So we have zero wrong for students who qualify for that aid at this point. And as she noted, they're going to be keeping a close eye on, on the special education costs and all that. So, but that is indeed thirty-five thousand dollars that we anticipated as revenue, and that's how the budget was set up. That we will not do. Is there anything further you want to say about that? No, that that about <coughs> sums it up. We went back and checked each child, and, and we came to the conclusion that that the good news, bad news. Yeah. The good news is you don't have any students that are are at that that level of need. The bad news is if there's thirty-five thousand in revenue that that you're not going to realize for this year. Well, we'll keep on. Oh, that's appreciated. Thank you. And I mean, you were at a budget committee meeting, and when we were uh, at the Marshwood uh, yeah. meeting, anything you'd like to report from that? Yeah, pretty I think, um, you know, we didn't have a lot to report, as not much happened, so I just gave an update on, you know, all the great work that's been going on around here, um, and it has been noticed by many of the board members, and we're very happy about it, so and that's nice. nice to see That's nice to see it does look spooky. Yeah. Even a handicapped parking spot. It's it has very its... happy about the people. <laughs> really? You're getting <laughs> there's a lot of it's about it <laughs> looks so much better. Yeah. 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 yeah.
Yeah. Yeah. That one has changed. The federal grant one is new. It's New Hampshire School Board right. Association right. just put that one in. So. Yeah. That's why it's all in there. So any other discussion? Or? And I did have a question on the food policy, though. Is it, is it, is, whose, whose policy is Is the federal government's policy? Because we get federal funds for, the, for, for food and reduced meals, or is it the state policy? Actually, it's your policy. Well, yeah, but, yeah, but, but, based, there, on the, based on that. But there's, I would say that there are federal guidelines because okay. the federal government is the one that does the food. No, this is just the first reading. I we'll move it for second reading. We'll move it forward to second reading. Alright, so that's the, the, those two are moved forward. They will be the, um, the, the second reading and the action will be taken at the September meeting for that. Um, and then we have the second reading of policies. There were quite a number of them. School district credit cards, audits and financial monitoring, fraud pre prevention and fiscal management, purchasing, petty cash accounts, bidding requirements, payment procedures, payroll procedures, cashing schools, school properties disposition, and data governance and security. I believe all except the last one were recommended by uh, auditors. I mean, we need to have these policies in place. And, and we did look at them once. Are there any further? Questions, comments, discussion we have on the ones moving forward. Make a motion to accept all of the policies and um, Second. All right, we have a motion and a second. Any further discussion? Seeing none, uh, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Motion carries. Um, old business, we don't really have old business, except reading through the notes, I noted that we said we wanted to review the cell phone policy that we have. And so I was going to ask for volunteers and suggest um, Emily and Aaron to review the policy and then I think it had to do with making it more um, in, the, in, our, in our minutes from last time, it's more like making sure that it is age appropriate. Yeah. yeah. Oh, right. Yeah. If that does that mean an adult? Yes. Where is it? Yeah. 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 That's right. Yeah. The tin can yeah. hanging from the string on the belt. Right. We need you a little bit. So if, if you do it, if, if you can. Yeah, uh, for sure. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. We've already taken care of the, the one action item that we had. Um, uh, so the future, the future dates. We know we have uh, the. Uh, we do have a. No, we don't have a date for the sixth grade form. And we also that was part of the thing that we did discuss with the Marshall folks, and they would like to be there. The, the, the superintendent, the, um, the, the um, I think the, the middle school. Uh, principal, they, def they, they absolutely said they want to be there and, and be, part of, be part of that discussion. So, okay. so that's really, be part of the panel. Yeah, that's so that's really good. Um, August 28th, we have another withdrawal meeting. We don't know where yet. Now, now to be determined where we'll meet. Um, that is a Wednesday, I believe, and so first day of school. And the first day of school. I'm sure we can find it. We'll find something. Outside. It's nice weather. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, so that's that one. Our next, our next, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> our next meeting is the twelfth. We have our, um, we have an, uh, we have an SAU board meeting on the sixteenth of September. On September eighteenth is when we're doing the public the withdrawal of public forum. And that will be held here at RGS, as Bob mentioned earlier. And the rest are school board meetings there. 
for the 16th. Is that yes. It, it's at the bottom of the agenda. In case you're not seeing it. I'm saying September 16th. Oh, there you go. Okay, future meetings. And then school events. I was yeah, I know. It's a... <laughs> Anything else that we've uh, anything that we've missed on meetings or anything? So, all right. And then we are up to the closing comments by visitors. We scheduled a few minutes already. The oh, first good. first Friday in October. I'm, I'm sorry. Could you let me schedule the flu clinic? Flu influenza shot. Excellent. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> this is now the nurse speaking for you. Sorry. Yeah. 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 Yes, you had a good turnout last year, you saw, right? I think for the first time, yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. First Friday in what? October. Fourth. Thank you for doing that. It's a huge help. Good. For parents. Good. Get it over with early in the season. So any other comments or announcements from visitors? Tracy Loring, I just to um, add to the water thing, um, they said just in general to um, run your water till you feel it cold. That helps to clear out your pipe, especially in the morning. So they just said that that's a, a good practice for everybody to do, whether you're well or, but especially in the water district because they said that it's a good idea when it's been sitting overnight just to let the warm sitting water out and start drinking when it feels nice cool to the touch or that. So when you're making your coffee in the morning, just run it cold and it's fresher. Anyone else? Anything else? Okay, we'll All right, comments by board members. Anyone? Let's, start with, let's just go around here. Um, I do have something to share. Um, I, I do need to go and verify what information is on Marsha's website, but um, I did receive an email from Mary Nash. This was in June. Um, that's good. And we're glad to hear that it was while she was still in Florida. Yeah, she was still. Just checking yeah. <laughs> um, in. And the message. Um, Summarize was that they the board had decided they reviewed all the late start yeah. committee data and the realities of you know, you know changing the school times mm -hmm. and they decided at this time that they were going to rename times and schedules were going to be named. But they are posting um, all the information on their website. It said mm -hmm. under board tab, the district's Facebook page, and each of the school's website. So I haven't gone and verified that that information is out there yet, um, but that... I, I saw it on the Facebook page. Did you? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And at least that that was the conclusion that they had come to, is to yeah, maintain the status quo. Yeah. yeah since, since something's changing, they probably wouldn't really need to rush, rush into it to announce it. Well, that's good to know. All right, uh, I think uh, my, my, uh, that's it. Do we have any more? We do not. In that case, uh, there, a motion to adjourn will be entertained. I'll make the motion. Can we start? And then a motion second. Second. Emily, all in favor signify by saying that.